Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we would do a little bit of recycling. Now I have got some of these lovely little envelopes from Amazon, um, which are really nice. And I wanted to use them for um, sort of like the front and the back of a journal. Now the middle of the journal, the journal pages, um, I've done the same as I did with our little um, pocket booklet. Um, that I did yesterday so it's got the same sort of um, middle bit here which I've just constituted up um, sort of like the little spiny bit on here um, and then I'm going to actually uh, attach the pages to each one of these um, so I'll pop the link of the video yesterday um, underneath so I thought I would use these um, because I think they would probably go really well so I'm sort of like thinking on the lines of sort of like putting that in the middle like this and having it because I wanted it as, pa as pages and I also wanted to make some sort of like little pouches or pockets on the inside. So I wanted that sort of thing to happen. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it but maybe we can just slot that and stick that down and use these two as the spine because this isn't very big so we can just put that in the middle like that or oh, maybe these could sit on the outside or they could even actually go in like that oh that would look good that would work wouldn't it and then that would just close up Let's see, that's what we can do. But first of all, we need to make this into sort of like a little a little folder thingy with a spine in it. So they've already got their little fold lines here. So let me get a pencil. I need to do another one in line with that one. And I suppose I would probably have to do it down there as well so we can put them in place now I'm going to just get this my scoreboard and then see if we can just get this level just so this will bend easier down like that Go. Let's see. Let's find the line for this one. Whoops. So that should work, I think. We'll bend that up. Let's see. Let's have a go. Pop that out of the way. Put that inside. Whoopsie daisy. That needs to line up with this one here. And then we'll just glue that down. And then we'll glue that onto there. So that should work and then what I was thinking of doing for covering it up I was just going to sort of like um, collage it with some sort of like book paper or something so let's just stick this down I need a piece of something underneath just so I don't get glue everywhere now I'm going to use a little bit of this um, this is gel medium in here so I'm just going to use this to stick it down. Let me see if I've got. Yes, we do. Let's just pop this and make a nice mess today. Pop that onto here. We have got a little bit on here to stick it down as well. Now I haven't done anything with sort of gel medium or any sort of mixed media bits and pieces for a long time so this is fun so let's stick that in there 
Now again, if you don't have gel medium, just use um, PVA glue. Tacky glue will work as well. Let's just stick that down nicely. I think I'm probably going to stuck it to everything else. That should work for a minute, I hope. And then what I want to do is make sure that bends it up like that so we have our little spine. Not sure whether that's going to work or whether we need a little bit more glue. Let's pop a bit more glue in there. Lots of glue stuck in there. I hope I'm in view there. Let's stick this down. Perfect. Okay, so that will bend there like this. Hoping, and then what we really need to do is just bend this one up like this. It's just folded the wrong way, so let's just make it go this way. Probably pop it back into the scoreboard and bend it the other way, but I think that will probably work. like that so that will be our little spine across there well that's worked quite well actually hasn't it perfect so i think i probably want this one as the front because it's um a little sort of flatter i think I might actually even have to sew on that just to keep it in place. So I'm not quite sure how strong it will be. I'll pop all these bits out of the way. And then what I would do pop that inside. Make sure you sort of level. And then that one can go in here. I can get it in. Go on, in you go. Perfect. Now I think I would probably sew that down. I'm not going to get any glue inside so I think I would probably just give that a quick sew down and then that would be our little pouch. Perfect. And I like that. Now this one's not quite straight is it? Now again if you don't sew or if you're going to make one of these then just make sure you really do glue this down properly that's gonna move a little bit I've just moved it I think I'm going to have to just pop a little bit of something in there I'm gonna pop some of this because I can get that right in squeeze that in there just to hold that in place before I sew it level. I have to do it this way I think. I head out of the way. That one needs to go there and that needs to go there. So let's just hold that down for a second. Like that. There we are and then that is where we're going to pop our little pages on but we will cover this up 
cover all of this up first, I think, and then that will just close up nicely. Once that's sewing down, I think it will be alright. Okay, so I am going to pop off and I'm just going to sew down here just to keep that in place. That will work. I think it will. Just, I might even just go down here just so that this doesn't move around. Okay, two seconds. Okay, perfect. So I have just gone down this edge here and down this edge here. So that will keep that in place um, so it doesn't fall out. And also it's sewing this down here as well to keep that in place. And then we just fold that over. doesn't really matter, I don't think, now which way it goes. But that's our little folder. It doesn't have to be huge. Put those in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of um, decoupage, I think, on here. Or just a bit of decoupage with the book pages. Just to cover all these pieces up, because we don't really want all this on here. That will come off. Like this. Not that I really need to take that off, but okay. Lid on here. I have got some book pages here, which I've got a lot of book pages. I'm just going to just tear some of these up. Let's do the smaller the better because it will be easier to pop them on. Tear some of these up into little pieces. And then just start gluing. I'm going to do the inside first, I think. I'm going to go down here because I might actually put a um, piece of paper on there. So I'm just going to go around at the outside of it. I don't mean I mean sort of like decorative paper. Let's pop this right into here to hold this down nicely. I can come up through there just to reinforce that page. Whoops. So yes, I haven't done anything like this for a long time. It's quite nice to get out the um, matte medium and have a little play. Do a bit of recycling. I have got such a big pile of it um, that I really, really do need to um, get going on making a few more bits and pieces with it. Uh, so I'm going to have to um, pop it into the recycling bin because I'm getting a bit overrun. As, I'm, as crafters, we really don't like to throw things away. Well, I don't anyway, because I always think that I can find a use for it. Okay, I will probably speed this up a little bit just as I do this. just want to turn this over so that I can just oops, 
stick these bits on the front of it like this. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm loving the look of that. And that is the inside, so that's lovely. Now this will maybe I'll add just a little bit to here, which I might have to do at the end as well when it's all dry, just to reinforce some of these bits. Careful, I'm not gluing these pages together. Down here, make sure they still open up. There we go. There we go, lovely. Okay guys, I'm going to leave that to dry and then I will be back. Okay, so this is nearly dry now. I've gone over the front and the back um, and on the inside with it. Covered it in newspaper so it's nearly dry. Um, I did do a few little bit more on the um, spine bit because it was a little bit flimsy. So now I'm going to just go over it just with a little bit of um, gesso just over just a little bit because I want to do um, a little bit of collage I think on here as well over the top with some of my um, fussy cuts and things like that so I thought I would do that and maybe even have a little rummage through and see what napkins I've got um, to pop on here as well so something a little bit a little bit different today Nice little bit of mixed media. Let's pop this on. Nice to get. It's a little bit grubby sometimes, isn't it? So just add oh, a few bristles coming off. So everybody see will have sort of like some book paper um, at home. If you don't have gesso. You can use some just some white acrylic paint. Um, just go over it a little bit with a little bit of this. Like that. As much or as little as you like. Just so you can sort of like still see some of the um, book paper through it. Just going to blast it quickly with my heat gun. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to just do the inside a little bit. Just round the edges. Go to this way. Oopsie daisy. Make sure you don't stick your little page dividers um, together. There we go. 
think that's probably enough. Now I'm just going to quickly blast it again. Okay, that's perfect. Well, not quite dry, but I think that will should do like that. So I'm loving it. Now I'm gonna, these are popping up a little bit, but if I leave it to go flat and stop fiddling with it, um, they will dry. So I'm gonna leave that now and then I'm gonna have a quick tidy up. Um, and then I'm going to go and find some napkins because I thought we could do a little bit of napkin decoupage on there as well, um, which will be really nice. So two minutes and I will be back. Okay guys, so I have left this to dry a little bit. So we've got the inside here with our little um, page divider thingy-me-jiggies. And I'm going to decoupage the front. Now the gesso and everything's dry. Now I'm going to I would do it with some napkins. Now I have this really, really pretty napkin and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use this. And I've also found another bit of my um, text one here, which is really nice. So I'm just going to sort of do some random bits. But I love this little bit. So I thought I would just sort of like tear that off and pop this little bit down in the corner. Now in my um, pot here, which is just my ice cream container, is a little bit of PVA and some water. Um, so that's what I'm going to use to decoupage with. So I'm just going to take my um, first layer of napkin off like this and then I'm going to actually just tear this around I think just like this I actually go oopsie daisy just so it goes over the Fine, a little bit like that. This is so pretty. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop some of this on the front. So this is just white PVA glue. Um, it's not much podge. It's just a cheap PVA glue that I watered down, which is absolutely perfect for doing this. So I'm going to just pop that to the edge and then just be really gentle when you push it down make sure you've got glue underneath enough and then just gently pat it down like that just so it doesn't rip you've got to be really really gentle with it Around. Gosh, I have so many napkins that it's just ridiculous. Um, and I keep thinking, oh, well, I'll keep that one that's too good to use, that's too nice to use, but then they never get used. So I absolutely love this one, and I'm just loving the blue in it. Um, so I thought I would use this one. I really should do a little bit more napkin decoupage and use the napkins in different ways really seeing I have it so many so just pop that on doesn't that look pretty okay now I'm going to pop let's have a look what have we got here this is I can't have that corner so just tear this corner piece off. We've got beautiful little butterfly on there and um, a little bow. So let's have this over this side. Nice big blob of glue. I hope I'm in shot here. I didn't get too close because um, it's quite big this little booklet, folio or whatever we're going to call it. Not quite sure yet until I've finished. There we go. Okay, now I can pop this. 
here. I'm going to open it up and put a little miss bit here. I do have another one of these, so I can always use that as well. So I think I'll just put this in there. So I think that looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to, oh, no, look, I need to cover that little bit up there. Just there. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let that dry now. So I will be back when this is all dry. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Okay, so I am loving how this has come out. I know it looks a little bit patchy, but I think it looks really, really nice. Um, like that so I think it's really come out rather well so that is the inside so what I'm going to do I have mixed up some colors in here now this is the D distress oxide which I've mixed up with some water now the three colors I've mixed in there are salty ocean tumbled glass and old paper so I've just mixed those up um, in there to sort of get a similar sort of color to this um, like that so I just wanted to see what it would look like because I have also got some lovely fabric here now I've just popped this through a little bit of coffee because this is what it was like before it was a little bit too bright so I've sort of sort of darkened it up just a little bit I hope you can sort of like see you can compare the two colors this looks a little bit more sort of old um, and it sort of goes a little bit better with this um, with the colors on here so I just wanted to make a couple of sort of like little pockets or something in there as well with that so I just want to see what this would be like so I'm just going to turn it to the side and just go over this just with a little bit of this just to color it um, which I think looks really nice. I wanted to, I don't want to cover up the text from the paper because um, I'm liking how it is looking. Because it sort of looks handmade, doesn't it? I think. So I just wanted to add a little bit of this on it, and I think that looks really nice. Nicer colour. Let's do it like this. around the edges I think I might just do a little bit on the front as well just to take see if I can sort of like get some of the dark spots off or lighten up the or darken up the lighter bits so I shall see let's just get this bit painted I'm quite liking that let's do this here just Oopsie daisy. Gosh, I do make such a mess. Just a little bit on here. This is just watered down, so I've just added a little bit of water in there as well. Just to water it down and let it sort of like spread a little bit easier. There. 
there. Let's go around the outside. Right, I'm going to just quickly blast that with my heat gun just to take that, um, just to dry it a little bit. Okay, so that's sort of dry. Look at the lovely shapes that it makes, lovely patterns on there. So what I would like to do, I'm hoping I'm not going to ruin it. I just want to just go over some of these lighter bits and see if I can sort of blend it in a little bit. Probably really shouldn't use my finger. Just like that. Just give it another colour through there. I think that looks quite nice actually, doesn't it? A bit on the front. There we go. Should I go over that text? Oh, maybe I could go over that. Let's have a look. I've gone over this with some glue so it doesn't really soak in it too well. Not glue. Well, I went through it with some uh, matte medium. So let's just see if that will dry off. Quite liking that. I won't go over that because I like the little girl in there. I think that looks really lovely. So let's just give this a quick blast. Okay, so now I need to just go around these edges here just so they're not white see if that will work see what that will look like around here I'll probably ink these up as well just to darken them but I'll pop this on around anyway like that Turn it around this way. There we go. One here. Perfect. Okay. That is inked up. Just go. Let's have a look. What does this look like with it? That looks really nice. I am really liking that. Let's just a tiny bit more on here. Just this little bit up here. Lovely. I won't put too much down the bottom because I do want to sort of add some of the pockets there so you won't really see it. So let's just pop some bits in. I think with the leftover this I might just see if I can actually colour some seam binding. Um, saying I've got some left over. And then we could add it because I wanted to make on the front um, like a little flower or something just to go in this corner I wanted to make sort of like a little fabricy sort of flower to pop in that bit there so if I use a little bit of seam binding as well let me just quickly blast that okay so I'm quite liking that that looks really nice sort of like darkened up just a little bit um, blended it in a little bit so that looks good that looks good so I'm just going to pop this to the side and then I'm going to get some seam binding and we're going to use the last bit of this up to colour some seam binding so I will be back okay so I have just got some seam binding I have got the rest of this ink in here now I need some tissue which I can use the rest of that napkin there so I'm going to wet this so all I'm going to do is just take my 
water which I have water in here and the first thing you want to do when you're colouring seam binding really is wet it because I feel that that sort of like um, gives you a more even colour than doing it on the on the um, dry seam binding um, but it depends how you would like it come to turn out if you want it a little bit more patchy then you can um, leave it dry and I think it tends to sort of like go a little bit more patchier so that is I've got two different ones in here two pieces of seam binding in there so I'm just going to pop that in here not very technical I just sort of like pop it in and I just roll it up now I do have two pieces here which I should have really separated so I want to do one a little bit darker than the other one so let's just roll that around in there and use up all of that ink so nothing goes to waste roll that around just to get all the color nice and dispersed in there look at that beautiful color and this is the lighter one so let's just roll that up there we go so pretty so that's just slightly darker and that's just a little bit lighter there so there we go so we used up all of that ink in there and now I'm just going to quickly dry it let's scrunch it up like that dry it with a heat gun or you can pop it if you've got a lovely sunny day I normally pop it out into the garden when I do this um, but I'm going to just do it with a heat gun for you here go it would need a little bit more drying than that um, but as you can see the oxidized because I've used the oxidized spray it tends to make it a little bit more matte um, of a finish um, but this one hasn't had so much color in it so you can see just a little bit shiny in there from the seam binding um, but the more color the more sort of like matte it looks um, but obviously don't use just use normal sprays if you don't want that sort of like matte look but I think this looks really nice and I think it will go really well um, with this fabric on here so that's how you color some seam binding so and that's as well how to use up the rest of your sort of like ink in there as well so I will carry on drying this up tidy up and then we'll get back to um, the little folio that we were making so I will be back okay so this is all dry now um, and on the inside which I think is really nice now I have gone around the outsides with some ink so this is just the vintage photo and I've just gone and inked just around the edge just to sort of like finish it off which I think looks really nice as well um, and on this side you can't see it too much on this side but just a little bit around the edges now I ordered these as well the other day um, which are little corners for your um, books now these are from Amazon so I will pop a link I think they're probably in my Amazon Amazon storefront anyway so they're just like little corners and I think that was I've just found them so I thought they would look quite nice on just to finish off the corner like that so I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to stick them on but maybe with a little bit of E6000 or something and I think that looks really nice oops just finishes off those lovely so I think I'm going to do that so we're just going to use four of those now I've got some E6000 here so what I think I might do is just pop a little tiny blob just on the corner just stick that on and then I will get a pair of pliers I think and just squeeze it um, shut or squeeze it a little bit tighter just stick that on like that because that one feels a little bit loose on there let's take this one off tiny little bit of glue there. 
try not to get this on your fingers because it's um, and use it in a quite a well ventilated room because it's quite smelly and it's not the best the healthiest of glues to use Right, let me find a pair of pliers, which I have somewhere. This will do. I don't want to squeeze it too hard. But just enough to hold that on. Like that. And these will take a little while to dry. On there tight there we go so that looks really nice doesn't it that sort of like finishes it off lovely so let me just get a little bit of tissue wipe that little bit of glue off there okay now I also have these little um, closures which I might pop on them and the little sort of ball ones which would probably look quite nice popped on there which I'll do that when I finish the, the sort of like folio thing anyway and they've got like a little screw which you make a little hole through there and you just screw it through like that um, which looks really nice which I will probably pop on there to finish it off let me pop these in here out of the way and then it would match these like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave it there because this video is probably a very long video and then I'm going to come back in the next one um, and I have just cut these or torn them to size on here so I'm going to put one on the front and one on the back and the lovely seam binding that we coloured I think I might just pop it along the top just wrinkle it and sew it along the top so we've got two lovely little pockets in there and then we will come back and add some lovely pages to here so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me um, I will carry on with this um, and make start making the second video um, so please do join me, um, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Alright guys, bye bye.